Jenny Chapman. I'm a Franklin County resident also, living on Bent Mountain. NIMBY. Not in my backyard. NIMBY. This is the label hung upon those of us opposing the Mountain Valley Pipeline. If this is true, if I am in fact a NIMBY, then I have a really big backyard. My backyard begins where the fracking wells drill into the earth. My backyard extends everywhere this pipeline would snake along, through forests, farms, wetlands, and communities. Here's the point I want to make. If this is my backyard, it's your backyard too. Do you think that watersheds once degraded and polluted won't affect you? Do you think the property that is devalued won't ultimately mean higher taxes for you too? Do you think that a private company coming onto someone's land uninvited doesn't affect you? Property rights that are ignored is more than rude behavior. It's trespassing. It denies our basic human dignity and it violates our rights as citizens. Recent events in Franklin County, as well as Poor Mountain and Roanoke County, clearly illustrate a cavalier attitude by EQT regarding landowner rights. In Franklin County, two acres of woodland caught fire after a surveyor carelessly disposed of a cigarette butt. If this carelessness happens at the survey level, how can we trust this company to manage a 42-inch high-pressure pipeline moving billions of cubic feet of flammable gas across, dare I say it, thousands of backyards along this route. And every backyard tells a story of people in the path of a private company prepared to do whatever it takes to net a profit. Everything is risked for their mill. Farms that have been in families for generations, young families seeking to raise their children with a decent quality of life, Retired folks deserving to live their lives in peace, our watersheds, our public lands, our forests. The forests of the Appalachian Mountains boast a diversity of life found nowhere else on earth. Quality of life, pristine water, the wealth of natural resources. Doesn't all this deserve protection rather than predation by a private company? Okay, call me a NIMBY if you will. I'm invested in the well-being of this big backyard, and I will do whatever I can to protect this precious backyard of ours, 330 miles long along the pipeline route. My conscience wouldn't have it any other